Ah, uh, I am so overwhelmed in a lot of ways, but mostly good. I am going to talk about my route today because I've started uh, booking tickets along the way and I've picked all of my shows for my trip. But first, I just wanted to say, and I'm sure it won't be the last time, but huge thank you for everyone who has reached out and offered well wishes, offered a couch, offered like, hey, I know someone in this theater town and like, you want to talk to them? Like, thank you. Oh my God, amazing. And yes, I accept all the offers. It's really great. And that's kind of the point of this trip is to just kind of connect, you know, and see and find out what's going on in the country. And especially to my fellow theater artist type people, it's just, it's great when this art form gets to bring us together and not cause us to be each other's competitors because it is, it's a collaborative art form and yet it's also so competitive. So like, when is it collaborative? When is it competitive? And it's so much nicer when it's one of them and not the other. So thank you. Thank you for the support. And also, hey, right back at you. I support you too. Tell me about your cool projects. I want to know about all of them. And if they're happening when I'm passing through your state, I definitely want to know about it. So, the route, which is obviously the biggest component in all of my planning. Let me tell you all about it. Here's my map behind me. A US roadmap, not something I've ever owned before, something I am really excited to own. Um, I love her. Here's where I am now, New York City, which will actually be the last stop on the trip, but it's for my jumping off point. From here, cutting through New Jersey, catching a show, and then landing in Philadelphia, which is kind of where I came up as a theater artist. Um, and crashing with some friends there. Shout out Louise, hey. Through there, going through Delaware, hitting Baltimore, Maryland, then over to DC, where I'm gonna be crashing for a few nights before taking off to hit the southern states. Now, like, we're talking about March here, so I'm going south first because it will be warmer there rather than march in, you know, this part of the country. After DC, down to uh, Virginia, over to the Raleigh-Durham Chapel Hill area, North Carolina, and then over to Greenville, South Carolina, which has a really, there's Greenville, before hitting Atlanta, which is a city I really love. From Atlanta, down to Gainesville, Florida, which is right about here, you know, so unfortunately skipping some of the cool stuff happening in southern Florida and then taking a few days to drive all the way across over to New Orleans shout out Debbie where I'm staying for a few days um, then I'm actually backtracking from New Orleans back to Mobile Alabama because the, the show in Mobile didn't have a Thursday night performance so I'm catching that on Friday before heading up to Jackson Mississippi and then to Memphis Tennessee over to Little Rock and then over to Dallas, which is over here. From there. From Dallas, shooting straight up to Oklahoma City, which is one I'm really looking forward to. I've been talking to someone who works at the Lyric Theater there. And then Oklahoma City is kind of where this drive start getting really long because, wow, these states are quite large to this New Englander. <laughs> um, Oklahoma City, over to Albuquerque, over to Scottsdale, over to Los Angeles, where I get to see Abby and Laura, crash with them for a few nights. We're going to Vegas for the first time to catch theater in Vegas. And then up to Salt Lake City, up to Boise, Portland, Seattle. From Seattle, I'm cutting over to Bozeman, Montana, which is somewhere in here, I can't find it right now, um, before cutting through Wyoming. Sidebar about Wyoming, it's the only state where I haven't been able to find a play when I'm there. If there is a play happening on Saturday, April 11th in Wyoming, anywhere, help me find it. I have looked. There is theater in Wyoming. It looks like there's quite good theater, but no one seems to have a show on the weekend of the 11th. So, I'm still on the lookout. I, I will find something. And then, from Wyoming, I'm assuming I'll be somewhere in, likely in Cheyenne, and then going to Denver, from which point I cut through the entire length of the state of Kansas, a state I've never visited before, 
And then I'm hitting Kansas City and Olathe. So Kansas City on the Missouri side and then Olathe on the Kansas side. I think it's pronounced Olathe. Really sorry if it's not. From there, zipping up kind of this borderline here, Omaha, just outside of Sioux Falls, going to Fargo, North Dakota, and then hitting Minneapolis, Cedar Rapids, Milwaukee, Chicago. From there, I have to get back down to Kentucky because I haven't hit that yet, but I also have to dip into Michigan. So I'm just going up to Kalamazoo, Indianapolis, and then to Louisville. Louisville, where I realized I should have planned this entire thing about going to the Humana Festival because I've always wanted to go to the Humana Festival at the Actors Theater of Louisville. Maybe next trip. Then from Louisville going over to West Virginia, I forget what city I'm seeing in West Virginia, but I have one. And then up to Cleveland, Ohio, and then to upstate New York. So originally like 50 plays, 48 states, the extra two were gonna be DC and then New York, but that's not New York City. So I'm hitting Ithaca, which is the city that's really near and dear to me. And then I get to do these nice short drives in New England, hitting Vermont, Manchester, all right, it's a uh, Two River Junction, which is in like Hartford, Vermont, and then Manchester, Portland, Maine, up here. Coming back to my hometown, Boston, for a few nights, and then hitting Rhode Island and Connecticut before heading back to New York City. I can't decide if the answer is to hit a Broadway show to like end the trip big, or it's to keep it indie, keep it non-Broadway, see something a little bit smaller. So we'll see if you have a show happening in mid-May. In New York City, let me know. Maybe I'll end my trip with you. That's the size of it. All that in two-ish months. We'll see how it goes. Really excited. I'm gonna get some long drives. This thing is really happening and I got tickets booked in back-to-back -back states often days of one day apart. And all that's left to do is just to go. To go be an audience member. The countdown begins. Also, filed under things that were bound to happen sooner or later, I thought the Mosaic Theater in DC for some reason was in Los Angeles, so I booked a ticket to a show on a Wednesday when I'm in California to a show that is in Washington, DC, because I don't know, I don't know why. Fortunately, it was a pay what you can preview, and so it didn't like, um, didn't set me back that much, but I guess that is now my donation to the Mosaic Theater Company. Your season sounded really cool. I wish I could be seeing your preview on that day.